Hi there, and welcome to week 21 of Nutrition Bites. So today I'm going to be sharing a super fun, simple snack for banana sushi. Uh, so we'll talk about the ingredients, then we'll talk about just some healthy snack tips in general. We'll talk about the health benefits of fruit, and then also talk about the question, does fruit have too much sugar? Um, we'll then talk about comparing food packages and then some more snack ideas and the weekly challenge. All right, so banana sushi, super easy recipe, um, a great quick snack to have during the day. I like to use a sprouted whole grain tortilla um, with some nut butter, um, a banana. You could do chia seeds, cinnamon, um, and then roll it up and cut it like sushi. Um, there's lots of swaps that you could make, different nut butters, different seeds. You could even add honey, different um, seasonings. So I encourage you to make it your own. All right, so we've gone over this before in some previous presentations, but I wanted to just highlight it again. These are some healthy snack tips. So when you're going to choose a snack, I want you to think of the phrase produce plus protein. So this means when you eat a snack, it should be a fruit or vegetable, so produce, plus some sort of protein, because that's gonna help keep you full longer. Um, rather as if you just have like a small piece of fruit, you might find yourself getting hungry a lot quicker. Um, so some balanced snack examples include like carrots and hummus. You could have leftover tofu scramble. Um, you could do celery and peanut butter, grapes and almonds, roasted chickpeas and blueberries. But if you notice, all these examples have produce, so fruit or vegetable, and protein. So whether it's a legume, whether it's nuts, whether it's um, the, so the tofu, um, that balanced produce plus protein idea. All right, so this recipe for banana sushi obviously has fruit in it, so I wanted to talk about some of the health benefits of fruit. So fruit is a source of glucose and fructose, which um, our body converts back into glucose and it's our body's main source of fuel. Um, fruits are also a source of dietary fiber, both soluble and insoluble. Um, they are great sources of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. They're full of antioxidants. They're low in calories and low in fat, with the exception of like avocado and coconut, but overall, um, very low in calories and very low in fat. And just eating um, fruit in your diet has been associated with a lower risk of chronic diseases and just better uh, health overall. Okay, so does fruit have too much sugar? You might see things on the internet that say, you know, don't eat that banana, that's what's causing you to gain weight. If someone tells you to stop eating fruit because there's too much sugar, I want you to turn around and run the other direction. Um, fruit is one of those amazing foods that we should incorporate. Some people do better with more fruit. Some people better do better with less fruit. It is a personalization thing. Um, there's no one size fits all, but we shouldn't just make a blatant statement and say, stop eating fruit. Um, so I want you to think of uh, food, any piece of food as a package with different components, not just a single item. So any food that we eat, whether it's an orange, whether it's a hamburger, whether it's an apple, whether it's a burrito, all of that has more than just one single nutrient. It's not just protein. It's not just fat. It's not just a carbohydrate. It's a package with all of these different components in it. And so I want you to start viewing foods in this way. So all food is more than just a single nutrient. So for example, fruits contain carbohydrates, they contain water, a little protein, and tons of vitamins and minerals. It's not just sugar. It's not just glucose. There's these other things in the package of the fruit. Um, and so this is what becomes important when we think about eating foods. It's not a single nutrient, it's what does the package come with? And so this can be a tool to help you start comparing foods and making healthier choices overall. So to illustrate this, I want to talk about comparing food packages. So both of these foods are foods that are high in fat. So we have an avocado and we have a hamburger. But when we compare the food packages of each, we see that they are very different. So the avocado, yes, it has fat, but it's unsaturated fat, which is the fat that we want to consume. And the avocado is also packaged with fiber, water, carbohydrates, protein, and vitamins and minerals. So all great nutrients that we want to include in our diet. If we look at the hamburger, um, again, a food that's very high in fat, but it contains saturated fat, so the, food, the fat that we want to avoid more. Um, the burger itself is also going to be packaged with refined carbohydrates in the like white bun, cholesterol, tons of sodium. There's basically very little fiber, very little vitamins and minerals, 
and a lot of uh, nutrients that we want to reduce, such as the refined carbohydrates, cholesterol, and sodium. So compare food packages and see what other nutrients are coming in these foods that we're eating. All right, so I'm going to share some recipes for some more snack ideas that, again, are balanced produce plus protein snacks. So some blueberry oat muffins, coconut chia seed yogurt, and jicama fries with guacamole. All right, so for the weekly challenge, I want to challenge you to try and have two cups or two servings of fruit every day. So a serving of fruit is like one apple or one pear or like a half a cup to a cup of like chopped up fruit. So challenge yourself to have two servings or two cups of fruit every day this week. That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.